Take three. Right. I'm Steve Virgin, I'm from um, the Wikimedia UK, which is a <laughs> national chapter of the Wikimedia Foundation. Wikimedia Foundation, Wikimedia UK, all very complicated. I hopefully, in a few slides, I'll be able to explain it all. So I won't dwell. I'll go straight into the slides. The objective. What is it that the Foundation, Wikimedia UK, all of us are trying to do? Is this very idealistic, very utopian, perhaps? But why not? Let's go for it. Sorry. By the way, Steve, um, you need to keep in, in frame, really. I was just making sure. Oh, right. <laughs> More mysterious if I go in and out. What are we? What's our potential? We're the fifth <coughs> most visited group of websites in the world. We have 347 million unique visitors. We have a reach of a, in the UK, which means that our chapter is fairly powerful, 41% of total. Around 38 full-time employees, and let me say that's not the UK, okay? That's globally. Budget of about 10 million annually. Source of funds, voluntary donations. And we're valued independently at about 6 billion. That's just um, a perspective of the impact that we can make in terms of size. I'll give you a couple of seconds to look. But what's the source of those? Um, to be honest with you, the source of it is a fellow board director. So I, I'd have to ask him where that comes from, but uh, I can find out if any of these desperate to know. What is Wikimedia UK? Well, we're an association of volunteers, simple as that. Um, the board was elected in um, 2009, in April. We're due to come up for another set of elections this coming April. So anybody who is a member can vote me out or vote me in again, according to what they feel. We were founded in 2008, and uh, our objectives are, as you can see here on the screen, which are very much in line with what Jimmy Wales said at the very beginning. So what we're trying to do as a board in this particular incarnation is to promote, to tell people who we are, what we are, and start to open people's minds about the possibilities of what can be done. Chapters, I mentioned the word chapter. That's the perspective of the chapters. There's um, 26 with one area chapter of New York. You'll be surprised to learn there isn't a United States chapter. It just isn't. Um, there's 12 in the planning stage and 14 in early discussion. So anybody anywhere in the world is either in the process of launching a national chapter or about to or considering. So if you've got any friends anywhere that are interested, they can um, start to open discussions with the foundation. This is interesting. This gives you some perspective on um, Wikipedia and its use. Well, you have our uh, 13 million articles in 266 languages. You have page views on a typical day, and that day happened to be yesterday. Um, you can see the importance of English in terms of how many people are using it on an average hour. And also, um, people are, there was some press recently saying that people are leaving um, uh, Wikipedia and not editing numbers. It's not true. You can see there's an awful lot of people still there. But there's also a lot of scope on the other languages, which unfulfilled potential. Our projects, because at the time I won't dwell on these, I'll just say we are more than Wikipedia. Versity. Some of you out there might be doing stuff which is very interesting and very attractive that could fit quite nicely on there, where you could be putting some material up there and pulling back hits onto your own website to help develop and promote the things that you do. <coughs> Commons, same principle, putting images up, putting video files up, wiki news, citizen journalism. Some people here could be making their name by breaking a story through wiki news. Also, wiki species. Bristol is a hub of absolute world leadership in terms of natural history museum, uh, history, BBC natural history, um, in terms of uh, archive, in terms of uh, various natural history and, and animal projects over here. And, this area. Another set of our projects. Wiktionary, wiki books, wiki source, wiki quote. All very handy for online editors, for people needing some extra piece of information to put some more uh, oomph into their uh, presentations. Ideas for Bristol. At the moment, 
behind the scenes, we're talking to all of these organisations about seeing ways in which we can bring those organisations into the orbit of our community to perhaps do what I suggested earlier, give some of their uh, uh, copyright light material over to us, have it out there in the, um, in the web and be able to then drive traffic back to them from our particular sites and sources. That's what I would like people to consider when they come and talk to me a bit later. What is the advantage of this? If making unused content work for you, um, it's stuff, you know, you've got archives sitting around, you've got material sitting around that's not doing anything for you, you're turning that into um, something to value which is pulling back commercial um, opportunities for you, particularly if your, your name is on the, um, the, the fifth biggest website or group of websites in the world. It's a very, very, very great advantage to you. The freemium concept. I've said this, but you know some of the facts. If you look down at the bottom there, take Britain. 28% of all traffic for all of their online uh, uh, paintings and all their collection comes from Wikipedia. Bundes Archive gave away 80,000 images of Dresden, 250,000 images, Tropa Museum. Um, you see all these images being given away, and what you get as a result of that is increased content increased hits on the website, actually increased sales as well. So what I'm saying in this very brief presentation is come and talk to us, come and see the ways that you can promote your organisation, your company, your business by working with us, giving a little bit about what you've got, sh showcasing it in an arena and an environment which is very, very friendly to you and then using that to pull hits, build deals, links, connections, networks back to you. Thank you very much.